Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. So tonight we're off the strip in our new series of late night eats. Yeah. Uh, this is located in the um, Centennial uh, Springs, Centennial area. But, of it's Las off the Vegas. strip, yeah. So we're gonna go try a local uh, 24 hour gaming Restaurant. tavern. Yeah. So let's see what it's like when we get inside. We've ate here during the day, but we've never ate here at night. So this will be a first for us. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys inside. Yeah, come follow us.
one of our big frustrations with this still, especially after midnight, was that the only server that they had was the bartender. And there were about 40 to 60 people in there uh, during our our visit. So it was very difficult to get anything from the bartender. But even though the bartender was really understaffed, he really tried to do a good job uh, at getting everybody their food. This is what the restaurant looks like at night. It is pretty freaking packed. For night. It's not really super packed. Around the back side of the bar, there are two pool tables that you can use if they're open. There's Nancy waiting. She's been there for about two, three minutes now. So this is the typical sit down area. If you get here before midnight, they will sit you in here. But at midnight, this area closes and everyone has to eat around the bar. All right, so we finished our meal. Yeah, so we just got done eating at Distill. Uh, it's actually 1.30 in the morning right now and this place is hopping. Yeah, it is, su it is It is. busy for a late night hangout, that's for sure. Yeah, um, and I will say for good reason. Uh, they have really good food here. Uh, I enjoy a lot of the stuff that's on their menu. We, Like Gary said in the intro, we've ate here before during the daytime and uh, I have to say their food definitely delivers on point. Yeah, so what did you have tonight? I tried, we tried the mozzarella sticks, uh, which are definitely made in-house and fresh, and that was absolutely delicious. I ordered the beef tips, which came with like mashed potatoes and some veggies. I didn't eat most of the veggies, I ate most of the beef tips and the mashed potatoes, but it was pretty good. I had the uh, French dip, which was which was pretty good. It wasn't the typical sort of like steakums roast beef thrown on a sandwich. The roast beef actually tasted pretty good, and then the mozzarella sticks really were pretty good and cheesy. Um, and then Nancy also had a salad with the ranch dressing, which was house made. Everything here is pretty tasty. Yeah, and uh, not super expensive. It was forty dollars for a meal, so yeah, not but, bad. But I would not recommend coming here. Um, there's only one person on staff taking orders, and it's busy at like 1:30 in the morning. Um, so I, I can't imagine coming here, it's going to get, keep getting busier and uh, it's very hard to get service. Uh, the bartender's super busy and he's doing his job but he's just really uh, got a lot of he's stuff slammed. to deal with. So I, I would not recommend this place. Uh, we will definitely come back here and try again some other time just to see if there's uh, more help or they have more people there. Um, but uh, this, this is definitely not a recommend for me right now. Yeah, I mean, if you do want to come out here, like the food's good, but you're going to have to be really patient in terms of service and timing and stuff. So just keep that in mind if you do decide to try it. But yeah, I would say definitely we'll see what else we can find that might have a little better service late at night. So we hope you all enjoyed our first of a series of late night eats around Las Vegas. Yeah. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and we will see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.